What's up, y'all? Sparty here, and I want to do a quick video detailing my thoughts on the 18 by 9 aspect ratio, whether or not it's the future or whether I th or if I think it should die in the fire, if it's, you know, a blight on humanity, stuff like that. What a lot of people think, because, you know, every time something new comes out that people aren't used to, they want to get pissy about it. The same that happened with 16 by 9. <laughs> but now that it now that it's been the standard for some years, people want to talk complete trash about 18 by 9. <laughs> you know, I, I, I understand, but it's like, look, there are reasons behind LG going with the 18 by 9 aspect ratio. I don't necessarily see why Samsung went, went with... 18.5 by 9. That's kind of stupid to me. But, you know, it's like... Like, they could have went 18 by 9. Still made the, you know, the S8 a bit taller than the G6. You know, cut off a bit more bezel. Which a lot of people, for some reason, are saying the G6 has, a, has big bezels. Really? Really? So let me show you the bezels from the top and the bottom pretty much match with the second screen on top of the um, V20 and the LG logo bezel down here on the V on the V20 as well. Oh, that gleam. Ooh, Ugh. I'm just kidding. Uh, and people. I want to say, well, that's a big Bethel. It's not. The, uh, <laughs> the only reason the S8 has smaller bezels is because they took off the branding on the bottom, which, you know, I do believe LG should do that next time around. Not that I mind their branding. Their branding's very subtle. Whereas with HTC, they would put a whole nother fucking bezel black bar and put the HTC logo right there or Samsung will go out of the way to put it right here on top where the earpiece is put it on the back not to mention your carrier logo and the Galaxy S whatever on the back whereas on here is just LG G6 that's all it is <laughs> but yeah as far as this goes, what do I think about 18 by 9? I think it's the future. I don't think it's necessarily the worst thing to happen because it gives more screen to people that want, you know, not fa phones that are not phablets like this, you know. It'll give more screen real estate. Not not more than this. But more screen real estate than the common, you know, common user phone. Or average user, whatever you want to say. It gives more screen real estate to those who just want a big screen. But it's pocketable, it's manageable in one hand. It doesn't bring out a big dumbass bulge in your pocket unless you have a big ass case on it. <laughs> and then, and it's, you know, it's sexy. The V20 is not sexy. Look at it. Camera bulge. Looks like a tank. Built like a tank. Which is not bad in my opinion. I like the, I like the look of it. But yeah, the G6 is thick. But then no longer am I going to talk about the build quality. I'm going to talk about what I think. So taller display on a smaller body there. And keep in mind when I say same size screen, like I've been saying, I don't mean overall same size screen. I mean, from top to bottom, it's the same size. Same size as in 5.7 inches, not, <laughs> you know, same. I always forget whether it's vertical, horizontal, diagonal. I don't I always forget. I always have forgotten the difference between them. But <laughs> it's never been something that I focused on. So I just say top to bottom, left to right. Top to bottom, you get the same size. Left to right, you don't. 
there. Corner in the corner, you do too. So <laughs> keep that in mind. But yeah. Now, sure, there will be the um, instance where you see an 18 by 9 or a 16 by 9 video on an 18 by 9 display and you don't get the full. You don't get to see the full picture. Well, you see the full picture, but it doesn't stretch to both sides of the display, which Samsung nullified by just adding a zoom feature to YouTube, which works, but doesn't work at the same time because it also makes it so, you know, some stuff is cut off. Whereas on LG's approach, say I'm watching um, Ghosts in the Shell Arise or something. Uh, let me turn this up. Let me turn it up, turn the brightness up. Uh, not that bright, though. I totally forget I can do that. I got to remember I'm at 46. All right, so you can show it in its original form, which is that small. You could go to fit, which will bring it to 16 by 9. You could go to zoom, which will do which will do the cropping thing. And you do fit, which will put it in full 18 by 9. And it doesn't, like, you know cut stuff off it doesn't make things look weird it works properly apologies for the brightness but <laughs> but yeah not only does you know lg's gallery app do that so say you want um you know to watch movies that you have stored on your sd card you can do that on there but you can also do it <laughs> With movies like, say, you want to watch Resurrection of F. This, you could just fit it. It doesn't even cut off anything either now that I look at it. Say you want to watch Resurrection of F, you can just, you know, press right by the settings. You have this, you know, fit to screen button and it'll just fit it to the complete screen so you can use it in full 18 by 9 glory now obviously it's not hdr or anything like that which this phone does have and netflix does the same thing as well but i'm not going to be playing other people's stuff <laughs> on here for that long i'm just showing you exactly what it looks like and also these phones will come with an 18 by 9 mode on the camera. And for L and for on the G6, it's for both cameras. It's not just for one. So say you want to take a video. You could do it at 1080p and 18 by 9. So it'll be in full resolution. It'll fit the whole screen. This is a test video to show what I mean with the 18 by 9 display on the LG G6. Ah, uh, shit. D This is a test video to show what I mean with the 18 by 9 display on the LG G6. And it works fairly well. Oh, yeah, right. I forget that about... Forget that about the software. <laughs> but, yeah. It takes, the, it takes full advantage of the display in, like, a lot of apps in its stock app and Google Play Movies and Netflix. It'll take advantage of the full display. YouTube is going to take a bit because that doesn't just depend on, you know, YouTube supporting 18 by 9. That depends on, you know, the content creators going to 18 by 9. 
which due to the fact that majority of the people that watch YouTube do it on a phone, I'm pretty sure as soon as the Galaxy S8 sells millions, a bunch of people are going to find, a bunch of content creators are going to find, you know, eight, 18 by 9, you know, stuff for their cameras, ways to, you know, make it so that it can fit your full display. And if and if Apple doesn't do it, I, I don't know what to say. I don't think they're going to do it this year because this, this is kind of a curveball. <laughs> Nobody knew they were going to go to an 18 by 9 display. They knew it was going to be a... Rumors said it was going to be a 5.7 inch display in a smaller body. No one knew it was going to be 18 by 9. And I will say that this display is beautiful. It... It does produce colors very well. I think my only real issue with it is that um, I don't think it gets as bright as my V20. Again, maybe that's due to my, you know, maybe that's due to my wallpaper. But because there's a lot of pink and other tones in this wallpaper than there are in my V20, than there are in my... um. G6 wallpaper, which for some reason I always tend to go towards the more dark. <laughs> I tend to go towards the more dark wallpapers, which is kind of weird since this is a lighter color phone and this is a darker color phone. But as I said, as far as, you know, what this display offers, it gets bright enough. You give it time for, you know, 18 by 9 to catch on. It'll take a bit. It's not going to happen right away. Nothing happens right away. It took a while for 16 by 9 to be the standard. Hell, I remember some movies not even supporting it when I was young. So <clears throat> probably not until like, 2000, like 2006 or something when like the Xbox 360 came out and stuff. That's probably when... 16 by 9 got pushed more because wide screens were more available. Wide screens were more common and stuff like that. You guys got to give it a chance, you know. You can't just swear it off because it's not the standard you're not used to. I mean, I'm honestly used to the black bars on the side. And you don't necessarily just need, you know, you don't need it just... You don't need an 18 by 9 display just to, you know, have it fit your vertical resolution. I probably said that wrong. Just to fit to these two sides when you're watching in landscape mode. As I said, on the V20, you can record in 21 by 9, which will, which is ultra widescreen. And what it essentially does is it just, uh, I probably got to do this in manual mode. <laughs> yeah. So as you guys can see, full HD 21 by 9 cinema. You can do this on your V10 as well and your V20. So if you have a V10, you could also create content like this. I'm not sure what other phones do this. I just know that these two phones can be. And I'm pretty sure that the G6 can too. I wouldn't see why it wouldn't be able to. But even then, you could just do it in, you know, 16 by 9 or 18 by 9. But this is a 21 by 9 sample video on the LG V20 to show you how it will look when it's put on YouTube. This is a 21 by 9 sample video on the LG V20 to show you how it will look. All right. Now, if there's one thing I can say is that when you put a 21 by 9 video up and you watch it on your G6, your S8 and stuff like that, future phones, which I'm pretty sure, 
which I'm pretty sure the V20 will also have an 18 by 9 V next V series phone will also have an 18 by 9 display. The Note will obviously have it. Um, is that um? Let me see which one. I did 21 by 9. Oh, geez, for like the weird aspect ratio, I just want to try something different. I'm shooting in 21 by 9 so that, uh, <clears throat> as you guys can see, as I literally just said in the video, my LG G6 after five days that you see it's basically in widescreen cinema mode. <laughs> Well, you know, you'd get the black bars on the top and bottom, which is whatever. It doesn't really matter to me, but you'll be able to get the full display on these sides, which a lot of people care about, despite the fact that it just essentially just, you do get the full sides without 18 or 21 by nine. You just, it just, it just doesn't fit the screen. That's what people don't like. But yeah, as far as that goes, it'll take time to catch on. 18 by 9 isn't necessarily the worst thing to happen ever, you know. Nothing is terrible about it. It'll just take time to catch on, as I've said, like, maybe five times. But, you know, this has been Sparta. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think about the 18 by 9 aspect ratio or 18.5 by 9 aspect ratio on the G6 S8 S8 Plus. Let me know what you guys feel about that. And again, personally, I feel that Samsung just wanted to one-up the G6 by just making, oh, let's just make it a bit taller. Let's just make it 18.5 by 9. Like, that just makes it worse. Like, that's going to make it worse for people to make content for your phone if, you know, you want a slightly taller aspect ratio. That doesn't make sense to me. So you guys could have just made an 18 by 9 boy by 9 display and have it be, you know, how it is right here. And it works just well. Majority of apps work just well. Even like a lot of apps that I've used on here. I will do a gaming video on here too. I just want to charge this phone up and truly test it out. So I'm going to do that pretty soon and I'll probably do it and post a video about it tomorrow. But yeah, that's pretty much it. This has been Sparta. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys feel about 18.9, 18 by 9, 18.5 by 9, stuff like that. Let me know what you guys think about this new aspect ratio. Well, not new, new for, you know, mobile technology aspect ratio. And I hope you guys have a good it's Saturday, Saturday. Hope you guys have a good Saturday and Easter.